Hi Beat Buddies, Jonathan here, Sam 40 from the forum. So in my previous video I just showed you quickly, well it was meant to be quickly, how to install the Beat Buddy Manager software and how to import the data from the SD card into the manager software itself so you can start to manipulate it and create gigs and sets. So we've done all that. So if you've not got done that or you're struggling with that, do watch that video first. So once it's all imported, you've got your list of songs according to their folders on the left hand side. So the first thing you want to do if you're going to create um, a list of new songs is a new folder. So if you go to organize and click on new folder within that, you can then double click within that. It takes a little while maybe to respond and we will just call it set list for unknown gig How about that <laughs> yeah so now you've got a folder within your beat buddy or you will have um, that's called set list for unknown gig and we can then put any song within it so let's say we want to use this one here blues 3 6 8 time we can audition it and run through the various fills by clicking on the button and say we like it and we want to add it to our set then we need to do something very strange because you can't just drag and drop it you need to export it so to be able to create so we've created our new folder down there set list for unknown gig we need to click on import export and you need to export the song now I've already done this once or twice so here's our song because it's got a slash in the title you need to change that to an underscore otherwise you won't be able to save it and for now we'll just say replace and then you can click on your folder import export import song find your song so wherever you saved it by default it will be within your user library and go open ah now this was just to demonstrate the problem with having a slash in the name so to get round that we need to export the song again so it's number three is this one here you actually need to remove the slash from the name of the song and then you can export the song might as well overwrite what's already there go yes replace go to your set list for unknown gig or whatever your folder is import song find the song and there we go so here we have our first song in the list you can now call this any song you like so um, because this is now separate to the beat buddy as such it's a copy of the of the song so we can call it hmm, three <laughs> underscore eight beat there we go and again it's there and we can change it and you can do that for any song if it's one that doesn't have a slash in the title so let's go to the bossa nova Again, you can you can audition it. Click on it. Import export. In fact, before I do that, let me copy that because then I don't need to type it again. Import export. Export song. Again, it goes to this area here. Bossa Nova. Save. Set for unknown gig, import, import export, import song, choose bossa nova, and there we go. So it's only if it's a slash in the title that you need to change the name of the of the song as it's listed uh, within the folders. So let's just go back to this 3-8 beat. In fact, the other one we're going to do is, because this is something that I noticed, is funk. So we are going to do, let's do funk 10. Right now hopefully you get the idea. Export song. Save it. 
import song let's say you want funk 10 as the first song again we can call that any any name so why don't we call it funk song there it is so if you want to move it to the top you need to use these arrows here which then moves it to the second position and now funk is at the top or you can go to organize and go move song down which might be actually slightly easier again you can't drag and drop so um, one more thing we'll do is if you want to do a new song from scratch you need to go to file and say new song and so there's your new song which has got your intro your main loop your drum fill your transition fill your outro and so um, so for this I'm going to demonstrate using um, a beat that I created which is a 3.8 and the files for it are on the desktop um, so these are MIDI files so the beat buddy uses MIDI files to trigger the WAV files in it which are the samples so um, I think I clicked on the intro so I think I used Flam 6 and then we'll have a main loop um, and a drum fill some of these are wild so we'll just see that's okay so um, and then we'll add a transition fill In fact, we're going to change that. Uh, no, we won't. This is just a demonstration, doesn't have to be perfect. And we'll end on an outro fill. So, so here we go. This is our new song. We need to save it. Remember, it saves it over to the project. Hold it down for your transition and twice to finish um, and then you can also load the WAF files for the um, accent hits and they are within BB workspace default lib underscore lib wave sources and so there you could don't have a clue what this is but you can just click there okay um, to audition it and then if you want to create another, so for instance, a chorus, you would then click on there. And again, you'd need a main loop. So we'll choose, hopefully you get the idea. I was looking for a ride, but I'm not quite sure where it's disappeared to. Well, this was this is uh, for another beat, but um, as I said, some of them are a bit wild. So you would hold the from the transition, you would then go into the chorus, and then, unlike the other beat buddy songs, you can add as many as you want. Um, so that's how you how you create a new song and you add. Um, MIDI files to them. Um, you can change the kits. So let's say this one here. Let's change this to a brushes. And so now when we play the song, save it. That button doesn't do anything, but that at least gives you an idea of what the foot switch would sound like. And then you can also change the tempo or use the slider. Now the slider is very good for auditioning to find
find your right speed because it doesn't require you to actually save um, the song but if you change it here it actually changes it in the song and when you click there it will say do you want to save yes and to get rid of these parts oh mind you, you need to stop it first you just need to click on the X's to delete them the other thing I wanted to show you quickly um, an issue that I came across when I was trying to edit a funk song um, so we've got a funk song just to demonstrate that but this is the case for um, a couple of other beats and genres within the actual um, Beat Buddy software it seems to be because they're not unpacking correctly so all the other songs you will find them within the user lib uh, the default lib um, so just to demonstrate, so here's our Funk 41. If I click on here, the last song that I went to was I was showing you how that 3-4 three, three, beat worked. So by default, they're within my Documents and Workspace. And it's Default, Lib, and then you have MIDI Sources. And you will notice there, there is no folder for Funk. There is a Punk, but no Funk. So to get around that, uh, you need to go to the Beat Buddy itself which on my computer is um, J and there is MIDI loops content 1.2 which is the missing um, songs and the folders which you can't find um, in other places so the problem that I was having this is called funk song but we actually used funk 10 and so funk song 10 and so here you would then be able to change a, a part so, um, I really don't know what to choose, but we'll just do that one. So, swung, broken up, fancy. So finally, to actually get this to appear on your beat body, you need to go import, export, and synchronize project. And so we go, yes, you want to save it. Now it wants to synchronize it to pro uh, synchronize the project to J, to the J drive. Remember, J drive is the beat buddy. You could sync it somewhere else. Um, so in this, so this is the beat buddy there. But I could put it anywhere else. And but really, what we want to do is we want to want what the changes that we've made within the manager software to appear on the beat buddy so you go select folder and now my beat buddy will have a new folder called set list unknown gig and it will have those four songs within it so I hope you have found that helpful and informative it was impossible to show everything but hopefully that will have covered most of the basics and maybe a bit more so I'll see you in the next video